going to Libuana. I think that's how you say it. But it was 12 minutes. I've got about 10 minute walk left. See my trains from the train station slash bus stop to where my hostel is. I don't know if I can check in yet. I hope I can, but we'll see. So I'll take you guys with as usual. a couple girls there who are like uh, they're from England they said it's all right um, apparently one girl lost her airpods like someone had plugged her airpods and then she could track it and um, she tracked it and it was in the room with someone so she asked everyone and no one admitted and then she left the room and five minutes later she came back and they were under her pillow so I'm a bit like cautious now of my stuff in the room it's not a very it's kind of like a dingy hostel I mean it's all that they were and I'm only here for two nights so it should be fine I've been walking around it looks really nice um, what you saw I think there was it was market day because um, I saw a market which was quite nice and the city looks nice the outskirts of the city when I was coming in with the bus looked terrible like I was like oh my gosh um, everybody I've met who because people usually go to Libuana and then Lake Bled Everyone I've met in Lake Led had been here and they're like, oh, it's so nice. So I'm like, oof. But it actually looks really nice. Um, much today but um after sitting by that bridge basically went um back into town and then just walked around i went to see the market i got an ice cream i got a coconut and caramel one it was actually really nice weird flavors i wouldn't think was nice um yeah it was just way too hot and then i found a water fountain i'm absolutely tired i'm shattered today I found a water fountain, um, apparently they have quite a few over the city and I couldn't find one so I found one and I filled up my water bottle but we're running low again so I need to go find another one obviously there's um, a castle on the hill so this was the, the hill with the castle so that's where it was leading to um, but I basically I just came here for a viewpoint, that's it I didn't really come to see the castle, I just came for a viewpoint I didn't even intentionally come up here like because I'm absolutely shattered today but when I start walking, I'm just like, oh, wow, we're we already walked two steps. What's another hundred? Like, yeah, it's nice up here. You can hear the birds. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I was walking up that road 
And then I basically just like climbed this hill and sat here because I'm absolutely tired. Yeah, and then the castle I think is over there somewhere where we're gonna walk and might as well see some of it. And then probably the plan is to go back down, hopefully find a fountain on the way back to my hostel because I need to go back. Um, my phone's dying. <laughs> I don't know if I've talked about it, but I I feel really sad when we're in the city again, like after being in Lake Bled. Like I feel like it's so beautiful. That's why I really like Slovenia. That's why I wanted to explore more of it. But I really feel really sad that I'm in a, in a city again, even though that there is like mountains like over there. And I'm obviously, I'm like, I'm on like a hill, mountain, hill. Um, hill, no, it's a hill. It's a big hill. <laughs> but yeah, I just feel kind of sad. Cause it was just so peaceful and so beautiful out there. I'm definitely gonna go back one day and spend way longer. So nice. Yeah, um, anyways. So that is the plan. Um, I've just eaten breakfast, bought yogurt yesterday. This is the view. So yeah, I went to the shops yesterday. There's like maxi markets, absolutely huge. And I bought a yogurt, some granola, like they came in like a small packet. Um, what else did I get? I got some bananas, I got juice, I got breadsticks and I got hummus. So I've got my satchel with me today. And I'm basically just gonna walk around the city and and um, yeah, I had my yogurt and, and granola this morning. Sitting <laughs> absolutely over there. I saw this spot and I think it's great for taking pictures. So I'm gonna do that now. I want it to be really early to get hit the streets before there are loads of people. I've put some sites in my Google Maps, so that's what I'm gonna do today. Walk around, see those sites, and yeah, have a chill day. I was totally out last night. Like I was so tired. I just was smack out exhausted there's some girls and they were going out for drinks and they asked me to 
if I wanted to come, but I was way too tired to go. I was like, mm. <laughs> I would have fallen asleep. Like it literally, as soon as they left, I was out. Like I didn't even hear them come back in. That's how tired I was. And usually I hear people come back in. So this is basically where the marketplace was yesterday. I was looking online and I said they have the market every day except one day. I'm not sure if that day is today because I have no idea what day it is today. Um, yeah, I'm losing track of my days. It's another day. Maybe today that the market's not happening. Or it just starts late, I'm not sure. But yeah, this is where it was. There's literally graffiti everywhere. It's a very strange city, it's beautiful, but it's very strange. Like, look, random graffiti everywhere.
I'm sitting in this park area. I'll tell you what it's called. Yeah, it's called Tivoli Park. Not Tivoli. Tivoli. T-I-V-O-L-I Park. It's starting to drizzle a bit. I don't know if you can see. Kaka, not the greatest. Anyways, so I had um, hummus and breadsticks. That was lead. And then there's this pretty place over there. If I was, I'm probably gonna go take some pictures, but it's starting to rain. And then the idea is to go get, I haven't found a place to have coffee yet. So I'm probably gonna go do that. So I just got a pizza boutique, I think it was. So I'm gonna walk to the supermarket, so that's what we're doing now before they all close to get some stuff on the on the train tomorrow. But no, I'll tell you guys how this one is. So this one has mushrooms, chicken, you said chicken, cheese, not sure what else, um, probably tomatoes, obviously it's pizza, it's nice, I'm not usually a fan of mushrooms but when I'm traveling I can overlook it for certain things, hmm, it's different, this one's shaped like a sausage roll, like a sausage, you know when the sausage comes out like the piping? It's like round and round. I don't know. Hmm. So 
So I've basically been looking for supermarkets since like eight. And nothing's open, nothing at all. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, gang. I'm on the way to the train station. It's a lovely bright early morning. I feel so much better than I did yesterday. <sighs> yeah, I'm excited for what today holds. It's only 13 minutes, and it's basically just straight down this road, and then one right turn and then we're there pretty cool pretty easy Better be earlier than late. I look for um, like a place to get food. They have McDonald's, but it only opens at eight. I'm not going back there just to get McDonald's. And oh, I'm not waiting around there. And especially like as soon as you walk into the train station, there's like kind of like bars, two bars, and there's just alcohol like bottles everywhere on all the tables. There's just drunk men, and it's yeah, it's not nice. Like all outside as well on outside tables and there's just men hanging around and I'm just like yeah mm -mm, not sticking around but other than that yeah just waiting for the train now guys
so we're running a bit late um basically in this place called dobov i don't know how you say it it's d-o-b-o-v but anyway this place is just kind of like the border which is the border of croatia like on the way to zagreb i don't know what's going on um we stopped there for a while and i saw this like police guy he was walking around like on the platform and i was like mm, why is he a police guy and then like after a while like quite a while waiting with these police were, like walking down like over here and then they opened my guy looked at me and then they opened the door i was like shit is something going on you know like am i gonna get like searched it's like i don't know something happening happened on the train um and then they just asked for my passport and nice and easy they stamped it then i was watching and he was like oh he, someone else has to stamp it as well so the guy behind him has to stamp it so i got two stamps this hasn't happened to me on any other trains like i've crossed quite a few borders by now like i've done poland i've crossed through into czech republic i've crossed through into slovakia into slovenia into budapest and now i'm going into croatia is that all of them i think that's all of them but like this is the first time it's happened like it hasn't happened any other time I mean it's good don't get me wrong but i wasn't prepared for it um yeah and then that was it they just gave me a passport and then they went to all the other like carriages i don't know what you call this like little rooms and that took like quite a while it took like 20 minutes so we're running a bit late um we're officially in croatia now We're officially in Croatia, so I'm gonna end this vlog here, guys. Um, there'll be a whole new vlog for Croatia. So if you enjoyed Slovenia, like I did, great, great fun. Um, definitely recommend Lake Blair. I'll be back. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog. Give it a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.